Let me just read the question to you. Where he buys a certain number of pens. How many pens did she buy? <coughs> a certain, a certain, a certain number. number we don't know. Okay, if we don't know, what are we going to say? Okay, so he buys X number of pens for 5 Rand. If the price of a pen had been 5 cents less, how much did the pen cost? How much did a pen cost? No, originally. How much does a pen cost? 25 cents. Yes. No. That's a guess. It's probably you that guessed it correct. Yes. How much does a pen cost? Four hundred five cents. No. X. X. No. X with the number of pens we bought. I'm not. We don't know. So what are we going to call that one? We're going to call it. Why? So we have price. Okay. We've got number of pens. Okay, and we have price per pen. So the number of pens originally was X, and the price per pen was Y. Okay, but what did she pay in total for them? What did she pay for the total? Okay, five. How did we get that five again? How would we, if we knew how many pens she bought, and we knew how much it cost, how would we have gotten the five? For example, if I said one pen was two rand and she bought ten pens, how much did she pay in total? Number two is divided. If you buy by ten pens, two rand each, how much are you going to pay? Twenty rand. How did you get twenty? Times. Times. So in other words, this total is x times y is equal to. Five. Do you agree with me? The number of pens multiplied by the price is the total that she's paid. Now let's see. If the price of the pen had been five cents less. Okay. So now this was one scenario. Here we go to a next scenario. If something else happened. What's, what else has happened? What has changed? Sorry? Did the total change? If the price of a pen was five cents less, so what what changed? Price of what? A pen. Okay, was five cents less. So what will this price be? Y minus five cents. We were here in what? Rands. So five cents in rands will be zero point zero five. Okay, then she would have been able to buy five more pens. So, how many pens would she have been able to buy? X plus five. X plus five. And how much will this whole transaction cost her? It will still cost five rand because they said if the pen was five rand less, she would have been able to buy five more pens. More with what? With the original five rand that she had. Does that make does that make perfect sense to you? Okay. Now again, how did we get this five rand? We said the number of pens multiplied by the price per pen. So we know that if if the price was five cents less, and I multiply the price with the quantity, I would still get five rand. What do you notice? Simultaneous equations. Two equations. Two equations. Oh, sorry, two unknowns. Two equations. So let's start with this one. We solve y. Y would be equal to 5 over x. Doesn't that make sense? That if I, what would the price of each pen be? Well, it depends on how much I paid and how much I bought. Okay? So. I'm going to replace y with 5 over x. So x plus 5. y gets replaced with 5 over x. Because y was the original price of the pen. Okay? And that was 5 rand divided by the number of pens I bought. If I subtracted 5 cents from that and I buy 5 extra pens, I would still have only paid 5 rand. 
And now I just solve for x. Okay, let's solve for x. We multiply out. So I get x times 5 over x will just be 5. The x is cancelled. x times negative 0, 0,5 would be negative 0, 0,5x. 5 times that would give me plus 25 over x. And 5 times that would give me negative 0, 0,25. And this all would be equal to 5. And now I just solved x, but what do I notice? Again, what's the aim of solving an equation? Get x on its own. Problem is x is in the denominator. How do I get rid of a denominator? Multiply x everywhere. Okay, so we multiply with an x everywhere. So this gets multiplied with an x to become... 5x. This gets multiplied with an x to become negative 0, 0,5x squared. This gets multiplied with an x to get what? 25. The aim was to get rid of that x. So that will just be 25. This negative 0, 0,25 becomes negative 0, 0,25x is equal to 5. Also, everywhere, guys, I'm multiplying with an x. So here I get. So could you like, you take the uh, 5 on this side and take it to the other side and also take the negative 0.25 to the other side? Yeah. Then you work it up before you use the x. The problem is what we notice now. No, I'm, I'm just showing you now we get an x squared. You could have done what you did because you've got a 5 on this side and you've got a 5 on that side that would have just cancelled out. So that would have been a little bit easier. That's fine. Okay? But this 0, 0, 0,05 would now get an x, but I would just want to show you here now. Now what type of equation do I have? Quadratic. What do I do to solve quadratic? Everything to the one side equals to zero. So then you're just going to have to bring it back again. Do you understand? So now, now if I take that 5x to the left hand side, I see it would be 5x minus 5x, so it's in any way going to cancel. So I'm just left with negative 0, 0,05x squared minus 0,25x plus. 25 is equal to 0. Now, the best way or the simplest way to continue to solve this is just divide everything, everything with a 0, 0,05. Okay, 0, 0,05 negative. I divide by negative 0, 0,05. So here I get x squared on this side plus. 5x is equal to 500. I'm oh, sorry, not equal to uh, uh, minus 500. Minus 500 is equal to zero. Cool. Now I just need two brackets. I need two brackets. What times what gives me 500? Okay. 20 times 25, and the difference must be 5. 20 and 25 has a difference of 5. So I get x. That negative tells me they must be different. One must be a plus and one must be a minus. Okay? Is equal to 0. Now, 20 and 25. I want to subtract 20 and 25 to get a positive 5. So must it be 25 minus 20? Or 20 minus 25? 25 minus 20. So who should get the negative? The 20 must be subtracted. And then I either get that x is equal to negative 25. Utter nonsense. Because in other words, that meant they paid her 25 cents to take the pens. Okay. Or x is 20. 20 what? 20 cents. Strangely enough, we have, we're working with cents now. 
Oh, no, 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 20 watts, sorry. Pens. Oh, almost, okay. Sorry, there's something seemed weird now. 20 pens. Okay. So, is that what they asked me? Yeah. How many pens did she already yeah. have? Yeah, so what would negative 25 have been? <laughs> exactly, yeah. <laughs> nonsense. <laughs> okay, nonsense. Okay, is that fine? Okay, so do you see how you're going to use this? Okay, this little table is usually what it, what it works out to. Let me quickly explain. You're always going to have, in a, in a modeling question, you're going to have an X and a Y, and in here, you'll have a relationship. Okay, so it doesn't have to be. In this case, we just had some relationship, we multiplied them together. Then you would have also two scenarios. Okay, it's like a. Um, if I say I am, I am twenty years younger than my dad. Okay, in two years. <laughs> In two years, I would be um, half his age. How old am I? Okay. So, uh, this is not true, by the way. <laughs> okay. But what is what is the what is the two um, unknowns? My age is unknown. Okay. So, um, my age. And my dad's age, okay? That's the two, the two unknowns. So let's call this one X, okay? And that one Y. In, and, and I'm saying I am 20 years, did I say older? Yeah. yeah. Younger. I thought that's why. So in other words, here, what do I have? No, the relationship between them is Y is equal to x plus 20. I am, if you add 20 years to my age, you'll get my dad's age. You see that? Okay. Now we're saying in two years time, I will be half my dad's age. Okay. So how old am I in two years time? How old am I in two years time? X plus two, thank you. X plus two. How old is my dad in two years' time? Sorry? Y plus two. Okay? Sorry? No, two X is double. No, 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 no. How old is he? Okay, so now we're here. In two years' time, I would be half of my dad's age. In other words, my dad would be twice as old as I am. So how old is my dad? In two years time, how old is my dad? Y plus two. And he will, and you'll get his age if you take my age. How old am I in two years time? X plus two. Okay? Yes. <laughs> Because what you are lacking is not ability, it's thinking. Now you've got two equations. And you substitute that x into I'm oh, sorry, that that y into that y and you've got an equation. So we have x plus 22 is equal to 2x plus 4. So I, if I take um, x to the 1, sorry? So if I take the x this side, I get x is equal to 18. No, why 18 divided by 2? X is 18. So, how old is my dad now? 36. 36. No. How old is my dad? How? When, when is this? 
Nine. That's how old I am now. Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You're learning from an 18 year old. <laughs> so, no, how old is my dad now? <laughs> what do you mean? 20. Y is equal to x plus 20. So if I replace this y with an x plus 20, I will get x plus 20 plus, 20 plus 2 years. 22. Okay? So, how old is my dad now? 38. Because this is how old I am now, my dad is 20 years older than me. So he's 38. In two years' time, how old am I? 20. How old is my dad? 40. Am I half my dad's age? Yeah. 